Interfaces is a pretty useful feature in C Sharp. It allows you to write a cleaner code and easily add or modify features in your game. You can have interfaces such as pickable, destroyable, damageable, and then easily add them to your scripts, which will make the whole development process a lot easier. My scene setup is a pretty simple. I just have a first person character controller and a club that will be laying on the ground. I have two scripts, one for the player and one for the weapon. We will begin by defining the interface. We can define it in a already made script, for example in the player, or we can create a separate script. So we write public interface, then give it some name. Usually it starts with i, so it would be i pickable, and then just the correlate brackets. The interface allows us to declare what it should do, but not how it should do it. So we can for example declare a void, you are writing it without the accessor, so just void, for example pick up brackets and a semicolon like this, you see that we have no accessor and no body of the void, because we are just declaring what it should do. So it should contain void pick up, but we are not telling it how it should actually pick something up. So we have declared a interface with a void. Now we will be easily able to add this interface to other class. So I have the weapon class, you can see that it is empty. Next to the mono behavior, we can just type name of the interface, which we named I pickable, and now the weapon is inheriting from the I pickable interface. But you can see that it is giving us error because the interfaces work as a contract, which means that you need to implement all of the stuff that you write into the interface. So in our weapon class, we need to implement the void pickup. So we will create new public void. We need to name it the same. So pick up the parameters and color brackets. You can see that when defining the interface, we just declare the void, so we tell it what it should do, but when we are then using the interface in some class, we tell it how it should do. So we have the public void, and we can for example tell it to destroy this object. Or we can also do debug.log, or anything else we would want. And why should you want to use the interfaces? Well, now if I would create a new script, for example for some other item, so I have a Apple script, but we probably want the Apple to do some other stuff than the weapon. So when we pick up the weapon, we might want to play some sound or some effect and destroy it. But when we pick up the Apple, we might want to, for example, decrease the hunger of the player. So here we can also implement the iPickable interface. We can define some other stuff for this void. So we can do, for example, debug.log. So the interfaces can be used if you have multiple objects that should have the same function, such as the pickable, but you want each object to do some other stuff. So now in the player, I have just a basic raycast, which is in the middle of the screen. So when the raycast hits something and we are pressing key E, we can create variable, which will be type of the interface. So I pickable, pickable equals and this will be the hit info dot collider dot game object dot get component and we can get the i pickable and if the pickable is not equal to null we can for example play the pickup void and here you can see that we have the pickup void so the best thing about interfaces is that you can have multiple objects implementing the same interface, but each of the objects can do a different stuff. So the apple could fill your hunger, the weapon could play some effect and destroy itself and add it to your inventory, and so on. You could do this same with creating, for example, I damageable interface. And now we will try it in action. So when I pick up the club, it should play some effect and destroy the glove, but when I try to pick up the apple, it is telling us that I have a the apple. If you would want to implement the same functionality without the interfaces, 
it would probably look like this. So we can see that we would have to store the Apple script somewhere. If the Apple is not equal to now, we have the debug log, else we have the weapon. And if we would want to add another pickable item, for example, some XP or something, we would have to be expanding this script. But with interfaces, we don't need all of that stuff. And we can just tell the item that has the iPickable interface to trigger the void, which we define on the object itself. You can see that interfaces are pretty useful and with them you can expand your game pretty quickly. I hope that this video was useful. If you have any questions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!